Hey guys, it's HD here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build Sanjay and Craig's house from the TV show Sanjay and Craig. Um, we're gonna get started on this right now. As always, guys, if you actually build this, feel free to send me a picture of it on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to check it out. So we're gonna need a few things for this build. So for this build, you are going to need ice for the windows, unless you'd like to use something else, you guys can. But for the type of windows that they have, they looks really similar to ice. So that's why I recommend ice. You also will need light blue stained clay, block of quartz, red wool, um, oak brick or oak, <laughs> dark oak wood stairs and dark oak wood slabs. You're also gonna need buttons and you're gonna need a few other small things, but majority of the items are gonna be just these ones right here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the house is basically broken down into three sections. Ignore the uh, marks on the floor. These are just for me to make sure I am on track. You guys are just gonna follow along with me. If at any point in the video you feel like I might be going too fast, you can always pause or rewind the video in order to catch up or you know fix any mistakes you may have made. But anyway, it's getting started with the block of quartz. We are going from the left to right with three block of quartz. So one, two, three. Okay, switching to the red wool, we're gonna do four red wool. So one, two, three, four, just like that. Then back to the block of quartz, we're gonna do three block of quartz. One, two, three. And coming back to the left side, we're gonna keep going back to the left time in rows, uh, left side in rows and all the way up to the top. Okay, next row is gonna be the exact same thing. So just duplicate what you just did. The next row, same thing again. And then for the final row, it's gonna be, oh, not the final row, but the final row is gonna be the same, is the exact same thing once more. Really easy house to build. It looks a little bit complicated when you look at it from a thumbnail, but it's actually super easy. And then the next row, so it should be four rows of this exact same pattern, guys, so make sure you have this correct. And then if you want, just real quick, we're gonna do this anyway, is on these two center bottom um, blocks right here, you can just go and add a button for the door handles. Then the next row, guys, on top of these four is gonna be a full row of block of quartz. All right, perfect. Then the next row is gonna be three block of quartz. One, two, three. Then it's gonna be four rows of ice, or four blocks of ice. So one, two, three, four, or whatever window you'd like. If you're gonna use a window, you could use that right here instead of the ice, but this is what I'm using. Then next is gonna be a three a block of quartz. So one, two, three. The next row, the exact same thing. Perfect, all right? And then the next row is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be three block of quartz. So one, two, three, I'm sorry, four. So four block of quartz, then two ice, one, two, then a four block of quartz. So one, two, three, four. Then the next row is gonna be a full row of block of quartz. Boom, perfect. And then the next row is gonna be one block of quartz, one uh, light blue stained clay, two ice, one, two, one light stained clay, light blue stained clay, uh, I'm sorry, two, so one more right there, I bad, two. And then it's gonna be two ice, one, two, then one clay. Then it's gonna be one block of quartz. And then the next row is the exact same thing, so just replicate that exact row once more. Then the final row for this top area before we add the roof is gonna be a full row of block of quartz. And then what you guys wanna do real quick is go ahead and get out some trap doors. And this is gonna be our little like, you know, shading, or not shading, but like, um. I forgot what they're called, but they're like the little things you put in front of windows. I'm like brain dead right now. <laughs> but just go and put these on all of the uh, stained clay areas right here. All right, perfect, just like this. All right, now what we're gonna do is come to the side right here. And what we're gonna do is basically do the exact same thing. We're gonna be going in rows, guys. So from here, we're gonna go all the way to the left, a total of 11 blocks of the block of quartz from the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. And then you're gonna go ahead and go rows of block of quartz all the way up until you are three blocks away from the top. So just go all the way up. And then once you get to where there's three rows left, just go ahead and stop. And I'll show you guys where that point will be when we get there. So it's just pretty much just like this. And you guys can leave the sides open if you want to. Um, I'm deciding to do like this because I section my houses into rooms rather than you know one open area, but this is the way I recommend doing it. Okay, so we're on, oh, perfect right here. So this is what you wanna stop. You wanna stop going with a block of quartz when you are three blocks away from the top, so it should be right here. So coming back to the left side over here, now we're gonna be following along with me. So it's gonna be two block of quartz, one, two. Then it's gonna be three ice, one, two, three, or windows. Then it's gonna be two block of quartz, one, two. Then it's gonna be two ice, or three ice, I'm sorry, one, two, three. Then it's gonna be one block of quartz. Next row, the exact same thing. And then the final row, block of quartz. 
And then coming over to this side, guys, it's the exact same thing on that side. So coming from the back right here, take it out 11 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then go all the way up yet again until you are three blocks from the top. So just go ahead and go really quickly. If you have um, a swiftness potion, I highly recommend you use that too because it makes you move a little bit quicker. I'm not going to do it right now just because it can get annoying having all those chemicals in, you know, in the face while I'm recording. So, you know, but you guys, you should use them because, you know, it won't really affect you guys as much. All right, I think we're about here. Perfect, all right? So coming to the left side, we'll do it from the right side this time, actually. Just All you're going to do is look over there and copy it, but if you want, I can go with you guys again. So do two block of quartz on this right side, going to the left this time. So one, two. Then three ice, one, two, three, two block of quartz, one, two, three ice, one, two, three, then one block of quartz. And again, if that was a little too fast for you guys, it's right there in front of you. So just go ahead and copy that side. And the next row, again, is the exact same thing. Then the final row, block of quartz. All right, now what we're gonna do guys in the back side is pretty much copying what we did in the front. So, well not pretty much, exactly like the front. This is where we're leading to the backyard though this time. So what you can do is either look over there and ignore me <laughs> or you can follow along with me again. And what we're gonna do this time guys is two block of quartz, one, two, then four red, one, two, three, four, then two block of quartz, one, two. Then the next row, you're gonna do that again for three more rows, the exact same thing three more times. And again, if any of this is a little too fast, I'm going a little bit faster on the back side because we've already technically done this. Um, you know, but if this is you know a little too fast for you, again, it's right there in front of you. Then once you get done with the, those four rows of the exact same thing, you're gonna do one row of block of quartz. Then going from left to right, it's gonna be two block of quartz, four ice, one, two, three, four. Then two block of quartz, one, two. Next row, the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure you guys are realizing how easy this house is actually. It's not really that complicated, it just looks more complicated than it actually is. Then the next row, three block of quartz, one, two, three. Two ice, one, two. Three block of quartz, one, two, three. Next row, all block of quartz. Next row, one blue stained clay, two ice, two blue stained clay, two ice, one blue stained clay. Or light blue, sorry guys. Next row, the exact same thing. And then the final row, all block of quartz. And again, on the windows, just go ahead and put these uh, trap doors in the back right here, just like this. And we're gonna be doing all the decorating area last because that's like, that's actually not the hardest part, just the most tedious part, is adding like the car and all the little decorations and stuff. So we're gonna do that last. So this is actually the entire area right here. Now what we're gonna do is start adding the roofing. So what we're gonna do for the roof of the whole centerpiece is get your, um, you know, what is this called? <laughs> the uh, dark oak wood. And we're gonna go around this entire thing just like this and make sure the stairs are curving. And the roof does not come off on this. The way the roof is, is actually really, really pointy and not, there's not a lot of like, you know, uh, the lip coming off of it. So this is the best way to do it. So just like this. And then once you've gone around one time, just all you're gonna do is place any kind of block here just to get the next row started. And we're just gonna go around the exact same way until we get to the top. So we're just gonna keep going around. Normally I would skip ahead for this part, but just because I don't want to confuse anybody, and this part could be confusing for some people, I'm going to go ahead and do it with you guys. So, again, we're just going around in circles in this exact same pattern. All right. Oops. And the stair blocks are actually working for me today. Normally, I always have issues with them just not wanting to listen to me for some reason. They don't really like me. I don't know why. Stair blocks are like my mortal enemies in the world of Minecraft building. Okay, and then I don't know how many rows it is to be honest, so we're just gonna keep going until we get to the point where they've all kind of, you know, collided with one another. I think we're getting to that point. So we're at, right now we're on the third one, but we're gonna keep going. All right, uh, okay, there it goes. And then, I th yep, we're at, we're at the last one now. So once we've done this, all we're gonna do is close this off real quick. And then what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna go ahead and just get a slab and just be, we're gonna make a slab area just like this. Kinda hard to explain, but you guys see what I did. This whole center area we had left over, we're just gonna cover it with a slab. Almost as if we put a full block there, but it's just gonna be a slab. And then you can come back inside and make sure you remove all the blocks that you know you, we put there in order for us to get the ring going. And then we're good. So I'm, I'm gonna have to get out of here real quick though. <laughs> so let me get out of here. And then now that we've done that, so that is our first section. Like I said, the house is broken into sections. So that's the first section. Then we have the garage and this little side area. So now we're gonna decide on the right side real quick because that part's really easy. And then the garage, and then we'll be doing the little deck, you know, the decorative stuff, and then we'll be finished. So let's get started on the right side.
Okay, so for the right side, what we're gonna do is come to the right side of the building, and what you're gonna do is go in three blocks. So one, two, three. And on this third block, we're gonna go to the right with um, the block of quartz. So we're gonna go to the right, a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and going back to the left side, we're gonna go and follow along with me just like we did everything else. So it's gonna be two block of quartz, one, two, then four ice, one, two, three, four, then two block of quartz, one, two. And then repeat that two more times. This house is a lot easier than the Steven Universe house. The Steven Universe house, we had a lot of trouble. I don't know if you guys did, but when I was doing it, I had a lot of trouble with it. But a lot of people, it got a really good, you know, you know, a lot of people really liked it, so I'm sure a lot of people got through it fine. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna come to the back side real quick. And the back side is the exact same thing, so just go ahead and look over to that side and just copy what you have right there in front of you. Not gonna work this one through with you guys because this one actually is like pretty simple. All right. And then just go ahead and do it at your pace. Like I'm doing mine a little bit different than most people might do theirs, but you don't have to do it like this if you want to go. With, I can't see my items, person getting online. <laughs> okay, there you go. And then finish it up right here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is this, guys. So what we're gonna do on this side is come to the front real quick, and we're gonna actually do the same thing, just going from right to uh, left to right and just follow along with me. So the first row is gonna be two block of cords, one, two. Then a spacing of two is where our door is gonna go. Then two block of cords. Next row is going to be one block of quartz, one ice, a spacing of two, one ice, a block of quartz. Next row, one block of quartz, four ice, one, two, three, four, one block of quartz. Next row, the exact same thing. And then the next row is going to be two block of quartz, one, two, two ice, two block of quartz. Next row, all block of quartz. Then after that, what it's going to be, guys, it's going to be six block of quartz, but we're going to go in one. So on both sides, you're going to go in one. So go in, then one, two, three, one, two, three for total six, and you should be one off on this side. Then the next row, same thing, but it's going to be four this time. So one, two, three, four. So this is what you should have right now. It should look like this. All right, once you've done this, what we're going to do is get our oak stairs out again. And this time, we actually are going to come off. So on the side right here, you're going to get the, um, the stairs, and you're going to go along this entire area right here. Then on top of that, do the same thing. Then the next row, do the same thing. And then once you've done that, you're gonna go to this row. And that one more time, it again. And then for right here is actually where it changes a little bit. So on these two center blocks right here, what you're gonna do is get the actual slabs and just go ahead and do like a full block of them and then bring these all the way to the back. Kinda hard to explain, but you guys see what I did there. All right, and then once you've done that, what you're gonna do is get the oak stairs, and then you continue your way all the way back down. And you're not gonna be coming off of the front though, just on the sides you're gonna be, or just on the, uh, the, yeah, the sides. The front right here, you're gonna leave off like that. And this is actually where our door is gonna be to actually enter the house. You know, for the, you know, just to make it look like Sanjay and Craig's house, that's our door technically, but the actual door that we are going to enter through, you know, as his Minecraft character is right through here. All right, and then the last row, the exact same thing, just like that. All right, and then once you've done that, what you can do is go ahead and get some, uh, you know, some doors out real quick. Um, go ahead and get like oak plank real quick so we can remove this block right here. And then get a door. And then you can put like some pressure plates here. That's what I'm gonna do for mine. And boom, so that is our actual right side, and that was super easy as you guys can tell. Now let's start, just start on the left side, which is their garage. Okay, so on the garage, what we're gonna be doing is this guy's coming to the left side, you're gonna go to this corner right here, this diagonal block right here, and you're gonna go up a total of five with a block of quartz. So one, two, three, four, five. Then in front of that, do the exact same thing. Just like this. So that's gonna be where our connected garage is. And then we're gonna be working for this time from the right to the left, which is normally not what we do, but just for this build, we're going to do that. So what you're gonna do is on the next row, what we're gonna do is get the uh, light stain clay out again, and it's gonna be five, uh, six blocks of light stain clay going to the left. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then a block of quartz. Next row, do the exact same thing. Okay, then the next row is gonna be one clay. Then it's gonna be four of the, uh, the ice. One, two, three, four. Then the clay, then the block of quartz. Next row, all, um, it's, gonna be, it's not all, but it's gonna be six clay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one block of quartz. 
then the next row is going to be all block of quartz. Okay, then what we're going to do is on both sides, we're going to go in one, and it's going to be basically these six blocks right here, a block of quartz. Then the next row is going to be four, going in one yet again. Then the next one's going to be two, going in one yet again. So it should look just like this. I'll back up. You guys can pause it if you need to, and make sure you guys have that exact same thing. And then over here on this left side, right here in the second block, you want to place a button right there for the garage door opener. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and get started on the side of this real quick. And the only this is the only time we're not going to actually build a physical structure because we want the garage to kind of be, you know, have as much space as possible. So we're going to leave it like that. We're not going to put a wall over there. So on this side, what you're going to do is do a whole row of um, the block of quartz going up for a total of five. So one, two, oops, two, three, four, five. Then the next row is going to be just like this. It's going to be one block of quartz. Then it's going to be two ice, one, two. Then it's going to be two block of quartz, one, two. Next row, the exact same thing. And this is a definitely interesting way of doing it, but <laughs> the next row is the same thing. And you're going to do this for three. All right, just like that. Then the next rows are basically going to be a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven rows of five just going straight up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, seven. <laughs> I know that was a weird way of doing it, guys. I don't know why we did it that way, but I think it worked out well. So it should look just like this. I'll pause it, let you guys. The best thing about quartz is you guys can always pause it and look at it. You guys can count the blocks out to make sure this is the, uh, your guys is the same. That's the best thing about quartz. You can see the lines. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go on the back side real quick and connect this to the house. So what we're going to do for this is you're going to come back here, obviously, and you're going to go to the left, a full, all the way through a block of quartz. So you connect. Then the next row, we're going to be going left to right this time, guys. It's going to be two block of quartz, one, two, four ice, one, two, oops, two, three, four, one block of quartz. Then the next two rows, the exact same thing. Then the last row is going to be, or last row of the ice is going to be all block of quartz. Then what we're going to be doing is matching up the points. So on that side, again, just like we did on that side, just go ahead and go in one on both sides of these six center blocks. Then the next row, the four center blocks. Then the next row, the two center blocks, just like that. All right, so that is actually it for that. And then what you guys want to do is get the dark oak stairs. And now we're going to start adding these. So this is going to be a little bit different from the front as if we're going to be going off this time. So you're just going to come out one block on both of those, just like this. And then on this side, same thing. Oh, no, that was not good. And then over here, same thing, all the way down. Oof, okay, there you go. Oh, see, see the, stairs, the stairs were being good for one day, and they stopped. Or actually, I'm sorry, guys. These last two, you don't have to do, because this is where the... You can do them, actually, but eh, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. If you want to keep them like this, you can. Um, I didn't do it on mine, I don't think, but you guys can leave them like that if you want to. I think it looks better without these ones, though. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take all of these stairs all the way back. So what I had to do for mine is I had to actually put a block there just to make it a little bit easier to place them. So you want to just take these stairs all the way to the other side, though. And they are kind of difficult to place a little bit, but not like the end of the world or anything. And then make sure you're coming off one block, too. And then over here... Sorry if I'm rambling a bit because I'm trying to focus on getting these stairs. Anybody who watches my videos a lot knows that I have trouble with the stair blocks. Every video I have pro tro uh, problems with them because they just never, I don't know, they just don't work with me. And then this side. And then, you guys get the point though. We're just going to go all the way until we get to the other side. But I'm not going to skip ahead this time just again because I don't want anybody to get confused. Because sometimes people get confused during this part of the, of the roofing. So that way, if anything is confusing, you can always just pause it and, you know, or rewind or play it in slow motion, whatever you need to do to get, you know, get it, get it done. Okay, we're almost done here. <laughs> Jeez, I hate the stairs. Love Minecraft building, but the stairs for me and the roofing, oh my gosh, don't enjoy it at all. All right, and then connect this. Boom, okay, we're done with that part. Thank you. Okay, so now that we are done with that, let's get down, started with the fun part, which is actually decorating and giving all the little details that make it look even more like Sanjay and Craig's house. So let's get started on that. We'll start with the driveway, and then we'll do the um, like the house itself, like little in, like little uh, outside stuff, and that's it. So let's go ahead and get started on that.
Okay, so getting started with the actual like decorative stuff, what we're going to do is go to the garage door area right here, and these blocks that are actually connected to the uh, light stained glass, you're going to remove these for 14 rows. So that's one row, now we're going to do 13 more. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then it's going to remove all of these blocks that are in this area. And yet again, if you have swiftness potions, that definitely helps for this type of the stuff right here. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead in the video, but just going to remove all of this right here, and then you're going to replace it all with stone. So the stone that I have in my hand, we're going to replace all this with real quick. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, now that you have that done, it should look just like this. And now what we're going to do is all four, like these, this whole area in front of the house right here, you're going to remove four rows of this, just this area in front of the main first part we did. So that's two, then three, and it's okay if you mess up, we're going to cover that anyway, then four. And then once you've done that, go ahead and get some stone slabs and go along the top of that. This is just to make our little like patio area. You just take this all the way down. And then once you've gotten there, what you're gonna do is come to the front door and add a row in front of the door, just like this. And then go ahead and get some red wool out real quick. Or a carpet, it really doesn't matter. I think I don't know if we can place carpet here, but we'll see. Yeah, right here. And this area here, you want to put a little doormat, a red doormat, just like that. And then if you have it, I think you guys should, you know, if you're in creative mode. Go ahead and get out a dirt block, and you're also going to need some item for item frames. I mean, some uh, wooden traps, and then also some leaves, leaves, any kind of leaves really. But um, I always forget the leaves are here. They are. And then what you want to do is one block away from the door, which would be right here in the middle. You want to go ahead and place a dirt block, and then add like you know, basically make a little like um, like a little like flower pot, and then go ahead and do two uh, leaves on top of that, just like that. And then go ahead and connect that to that the uh, driveway to the actual like entrance way with a uh, stone as well just like this all right and then now that we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the little stuff on the front of the house real quick go ahead and get a torch out and an item frame if you have one and we're gonna do a little glitch here actually so let me see where the item frame is if it doesn't work for you you can just use the um regular torch but this is a little glitch i like to do and just adds a little bit more detail to it so in the both in the right and the left side of the door go ahead and place an item frame and then you're going to place a torch. Oh, wait, no, a torch. Sorry, my bad. It's going to be a torch, then an item frame on the block behind it. Okay, just like that. And that just makes it look kind of like, I don't know, like it's more padded into the wall. Like it's getting, you know, it just looks better to me personally. But you don't have to do that. If you want just put torches, you can do that. Okay. And then now that we've done that, that is actually it for this area. We're going to go ahead and add the chimney real quick. And for that, we're going to get our red wool back out. Uh, red wool's right here. Get rid of that carpet. And let me make sure I have it in the exact same spot. Okay, so this one, it's one, two, or one, two, three, and then up one. Okay, so for this, what we're going to do is come to the roof. We're going to go to the right, or left, I mean, one, two, three. On this third, third block, go diagonal, and then these two blocks, remove these, and you're going to take this up. I believe it was three, but let's see, it's one, two, and then three. And then we'll count this one, to be sure. Yep, perfect, three. All right, so that is actually it for that. Now what we're going to do is on the interior, we're not going to do the actual decorative stuff just because that's really not, you know, possible because of the Minecraft logic and the cartoon logic where like you know everything's bigger on the inside that is on the outside or again the inside that is on the outside and which what I did in mind is I just removed all of this dirt real quick um drinking night vision potion I just removed all of the dirt and I replaced it with oaks uh oak wood uh, what is it called yeah oak planks there you go so just go ahead and remove you want to do like mine remove all this dirt like this and then replace it with oak planks, all of it on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip ahead in the video, but if you're gonna do that, go ahead and pause it and uh, get that done. Okay guys, so now we're gonna add the last little touch, which is basically, well actually we have two little touches. We're gonna do one of them real quick. If you wanna do this, just adding their mailbox. I forgot about this part. Um, that part's super easy. Um, we're just gonna need a block of quartz. Um, I, should just, I don't wanna get rid of the stuff in my inventory. Okay, so now we're going to add the last little touches, which is basically just the car and the mailbox. The mailbox, you just place a, a fence right here on this end right here, and then a block of quartz on top of it, and then a trap door on the front. And that is our mailbox. If you want to do something different, you can. I just thought I did mine. All right, just like that. And now let's go ahead and add the car. I forgot to tell you guys also, on the garage area, I actually did put stone, not wood. Um, but if you want to keep it as wood, you can do that. So for the car, it's actually, it's not hard, it's just a little bit weird. So what you're going to do is you guys can place the car wherever you want. I didn't mind the fifth block in, so one, two, three, four, five, and then one block in. Go ahead and place a black wool. On the back of that, do one stone slab, 
And on the front of that, do three stone slabs. One, two, three. Then one black wool. Then one slab. All right, then come into the front real quick. What we're gonna do is just like this. Go to the left, or the right I mean, two slabs, or three slabs, one, two, three. Then right here, we're gonna do another black wool. Then three slabs, one, two, three. One black wool, one slab. Then two slabs to connect it. Then what you're gonna do is go around the entire thing of blue wool. All right, just like that. And then what you guys wanna do is on the front, go ahead and add two buttons, just like this. And in the back, go ahead and add two buttons. Okay, these are our lights. And then what you're gonna do is this. So the next row is gonna be just like this. It's gonna be one blue wool, one glass pane, one blue wool, then two glass panes, just like that. And then in the front, just gonna do a row of blue wool in this area right here. And then right here, what you wanna do is do more blue wool and then take this glass all the way to this side and then connect it over here. Then another blue wool, then a pane, then a blue wool. Then this part right here can be a little bit like, I don't know, weird, I guess. You could say it's at least, as you're gonna actually get some stairs out real quick. And this part actually confuses me too, to be honest, guys, so. Yeah, it's just, I got stairs like this and just took them around this entire area. This is just so I can get the carpet to be the way I wanted to. I just took stairs all the way to the front. And then I put some glass panes in the back, just like this again. And then I got carpet and I went along the entire top. And you have to place carpet on top of the stairs just in order to get the carpet high enough. I don't really know a better way to do it. There probably is one, but um, this is just how I did mine. And then take the carpet all the way to the front. Uh, just like that. Okay, so that is actually the car right there. And then all these wheels, just go ahead and place a, um, a button. And again, if you know a better way for the um, the car to make it to where you can actually see the stairs, like kind of like seats, um, go ahead and do that. But I just didn't know how to do it really, and that's just how I, the best thing I could come up with. Um, and you know, the time I did it. Um, so basically, now all we have to do is add the license plate. And you guys can put whatever you guys want on the license plate. Um, for me, I just went ahead and put, you know, what was our license plate on the back? My bad. <laughs> you should someone put uh, two like this. And I just put two uh, signs. I didn't write anything on them though. And that is actually it for the car, guys. And that is actually it for that house altogether. So if you guys like this video, if you can hit this video with a like, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, that'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, please subscribe. But loads of crazy Minecraft houses all the time, especially cartoon ones. You have, you know, Steven Universe, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I have Wee Bear Bears, Invader Zim, Powerpuff Girls, Fairly Odd Parents, uh, Regular Show, Amazing World of Gumball, Clarence. I've done a lot of them now. So if you're new here, please subscribe. I do a crazy cartoon house every single week. And I do other houses as well and other Minecraft stuff. So definitely subscribe. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.